What's up you guys, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can use the mega menu inside of websites and funnels. What is a mega menu? A mega menu basically allows you to add different elements from the website builder or funnel builder inside the menu. So let's say you want to showcase a menu where it says products or teams. Once somebody clicks on products, a mega menu with different elements shows up listing the main categories of your products, for example, phones, TVs, fridges, and then you would have little subcategories, which would then list all the different phones, all the different TVs and all the different fridges, for example. Let me show you how you can set this up. So first click on sites on the left, select websites or funnels at the top, then select your website, then click on edit any page within that website. Now let's pretend we would add another element. Let's scroll down a little bit, click plus, let's add a full width one, click up, so it just lands at the top right here. Let's click add row, let's click one column, and here we click add element. Then we type menu in the search bar here in the element section. You can see the navigation menu showing up here. Let's drag and drop it over and you can see here there is the mega menu. On the right hand side, this has been enhanced since it's now not just the regular menu, but also the mega menu. You just can click add item and you can see here the second option, mega menu showing up. Click that one. And here you see the little category mega menu has been added, right? So if you hover over the screen element, you'll see that is the pop-up that will show once somebody clicks on the mega menu item, basically. So now let's rename this to phones, for example, right? Let's hit submit. And then here you can see it has changed to phones. Let's add another one, click mega menu, click the three dots on the right and say TVs, for example, hit submit. Let's add a last one here, click three dots and let's say computers, right? Hit submit. And then here at the top, you have your three sections. Now you have to add another element in order to make it work. Let's select phones. Let's click add a row. Let's say we have two columns here and let's click add element. We could choose headline, subheadline. Let's do headlines for now. And let's rename it to iPhones, for example, right? You can just easily copy that, then drag and drop it over. And here you could say Androids, for example, okay? But then you could just add another element, click paragraph, and he can then just list all your different iPhones, for example, if you're a reseller or, or something like that. Then just hit duplicate and then change it and list all the items you're selling in that store on that website, okay? Same thing here, you would then just list the Android's versions that you're selling. Okay, once that's done, you can here click done under editing for phones, click done. Let's click the preview at the top right corner. And ta-da, here's the new mega menu. Let's hover over that phones and here you can see those two sections showing up. This gives the viewer a really nice overview without needing to scroll through the entire shop, for example to understand what it is that they sell under the category phones, for example. Now you could go back here and then obviously hyperlink the page that belongs to iPhone 5 and then just lead them this way to the next page. Now let's go to TVs, for example. You could also add different images, whatever element really you want to add inside the mega menus, you can do that. Let's add a row, let's say three columns, for example, let's add element, let's select image. You could also select an image slider. Then on the right side here, you would add an image. Let's select this one. Then you could just add different images like that, or you can just copy the image if it's the same, or you show different TVs or different of your products, different variations. And then also you could add another text, for example, a headline, okay? And then say like, you know, new versions 2024, whatever, right? Like however you want to display your items, you can do that very creatively now. Now let's say we want to hyperlink another website behind this image or another page within our website, really. Just click the element, just like usual, you would just go to actions. You would select go to website and down here you would add your website. Let's hit preview and then let's hover over to these. Here's the images are showing up. Click on that image and you're being forwarded to the URL we've just inserted. You could also adjust the background color fonts and spacing to just really make it match your brand. Just click on the actual text and here you can change the colors, right? According to your brand colors, which you have added through the brand board. For example, or you can make it bold, italic, underline. On the right hand side here, you can again choose the font weight and the typography, maybe add some icons or even animations, right? Now let's say we wanted to add a background color here. Just click on background color under general and then select yellow, for example, and you see this is yellow. Let's click preview and here we go, hover over to these and you can see the highlighted yellow. Nice. Of course, this feature comes in really handy if you're selling software, for example, you can just then put a feature section at the top. And then when people hover over it, they see all the different features in one big mega menu bar. 
which allows them to understand your product a lot better and not scroll through the entire page in order to understand, hey, is this for me or is it not? Well, I hope you liked this new feature and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.